crazy budget shot. Aiden came to us and they said, we, I want to throw a vagina monologues um, as a fundraiser for the city school. And I said, okay, if a young person wants to make it happen and it's their vision for the city school, that's what we're, what's, what we're here to do. Yeah. What made you want to bring your ideas to the city school? I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I wanted to bring together women who are younger and older, like intergenerational, all across Boston. It was more like trying to bring together a group of women who could support each other and still like have a good time. The Vagina Monologues is a way for people to get really comfortable talking about their bodies, talking about sex, talking about vaginas, uh, which are not things you always get to talk about in youth programs or ever in school. My monologue is My Angry Vagina. It's basically a woman uh, kind of, it sums up everyone's anger that everyone feels about all this, like, you know, sexism. And it needs to talk. <laughs> needs to talk to you. <laughs> ways to torture my poor ass gentle loving vagina. I play um, an old lady and telling her experience about what she remembers being younger and like way back in the day and then come in to learn that she has cancer and happened to get things. And well, I got excited. So excited that there was a flood down there. <laughs> What impact do you hope to have on the community? You know, the people who come, they're gonna go back out, probably need to talk about it. I really want the community to be inspired and energized by the performance um, because I think we've had a lot of fun putting it together and I want the community to have fun as they watch it. Um, I want the community to realize what young people can do and what young people are capable of and realize that even in topics that we try to hide from young people in society, like talking about sex, like giving mm -hmm. young people access to sex education and birth control and everything, and sexual health information, um, that we really need to be including and being led by young people in this conversation. I hope that people leave with more sense of like caring for and maybe like wanting to like go and get checked out and still like keeping up with their body. I think it's impacted us also by showing them that um, you don't need to have a ton of experience to do something. You can just, if you have an idea, take it and run with it and make it happen. I think it has a really big impact, especially for those who go through some of the struggles that we talk about in the Vagina Monologues. For other people, I think it's raising awareness for actually what's going on, because a lot of people don't know. We are saying no more. We, we are, are one million, million rising. rising.